Hey, what is up everybody, Blades for here, and today I have you guys another video of Persona 5X. Inside today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about exactly how you can pre-farm Summer Moko right now, or at least start to pre-farm her when she does drop later on today. And boy, oh boy, we have everything calculated. We have everything actually looking at what we need for her. And you guys are going to be doing a few things. So if you guys like videos like this, sure, be sure to tell me. Um, your boy has been a little bit of everywhere when doing a lot of things, especially in the last few days. If you guys have seen my community page, it's been busy. So um, we do have this. We're going to be breaking this down into several different parts. You can skip to each part that you really want to. I'll have timestamps all the way down below. So first things first is how much do you need for at least the level side of things? Levels is always going to be the guaranteed things that we want to try to pay attention to. So when it comes down to Summer Moko, we're going to need a few things. So we want at least out of the metaverse and be here and checking into the level at least up thing. We do have a double um, level up thing here. Of course, this is going to be gone when she does come out. So you won't be able to get the double. But if you're doing yourself the 80 levels here or at least level 80, 70, stuff like that, eventually you're going to need a certain amount of these purple books. So in total, if you wanted to just do this all with just purple books, you should need around I think it was the exact one was around 335 or 345 books in general just for purples. But if you are actually using a little bit of a mixture and which is what I'm going to be doing here, you should be able to have at least around 200 or something purple books with at least 100 or 300 maybe of the blue ones. And you should be pretty much good into getting this character fully actually upgraded. If you want the exact amount for at least the books themselves, you will need yourself around 345 purples seven of the no two of these boys and then three of the very very low papers so you're going to need a lot of stuff when it does come down to this but this is what we want to go for first especially when it comes down to those finite type things being at least raw stats the next thing that we're going to have to look into at least is going to be these guys now if i'm right with this update coming we should have a double on this and so if you really want to get this done the fastest way, your best bet would be farming at 70 and 80, of course. But we're just going overall how many you need. Um, each floor is going to be a little bit different. But then let's say everyone's at 80 or let's just try to um, make this simpler in general and just say how many exactly you need for yellows. You're going to need yourself 36 yellows. You're going to need yourself 34 of these purples, which luckily we already have that. And then you need 17 of these bad boys. So no matter what you do, as long as you have 36 yellows, 34 purples, and 17 of these blueies, you can get them all the way up to from level one to 80. Should be fairly, fairly easy. Though it's gonna take you a lot of currency. Next thing we're gonna go over, of course, is the currency needed for this. That's gonna be the big part, especially seeing that a lot of us are gonna be taking a good look into that. When it comes down from getting a person from level one to 80, it is very expensive. You guys can actually kind of check exactly just from 70 to 80, the um, difference in at least money wise. Let's see, I think we have someone that needs to hit 80. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. If we don't, then I'll just straight up tell you how much it is. Um, it's just a straight up a ton. You should like need at least 100K, 200K or something like that in order to get there. And that's already annoying. But to get a character from level one all the way to at least level 80, you're going to need to farm that dungeon and that is going to take you a hot bit of gold and that will be 1.1 million. Or for you guys who want more of a exact number, 1-1-6-2-1-0-3 one, one, um, for everything maxed out on this character. So you pretty much need 1.1 million for everything maxed out on this character. And I mean everything. If you just wanted to all out, just go ahead and get up, let's say without any of your things up to anything like that, you want to go ahead and have at least sitting on you. Let's calculate real quick. We want to have at least sitting on you around 400K. 400K is what we really want to look at. And that's just to get the character up to 80 with nothing else level. So no weapon, no nothing. Just getting the character up here is literally 400k right then and there so do keep that in mind it gets really expensive really really quickly and that is going to add up fairly fairly fast now for mocha when it does come down to the traits so what she's going to need for her traits of course is just the normal old trait thing here but in order to get everything up to 10 that's where things get a little bit iffy so of course 
having your character ad is going to be the main thing this is how we're going to get our stuff all the way to 10 and we can see just doing the ad dungeon we get at least a chance of getting this if nothing is ever guaranteed so it can cost you a lot of stamina while doing this here but of course if we go ahead and just did that and did everything let's say we got our character to 80 we awakened them of course that already took a lot of gold and then of course we have at least these things here it's gonna take you around maybe 40 of the small guys here 36 maybe or 40 i think it was 36 so 36 of the small dudes you're gonna need yourself 52 of the purples here and then 100 of these guys and that's just to get the character from level one up to 10 so fully maxed out and then you want to farm yourself up a few things as well so of course just to get the character fully maxed out you do need to have some roses those roses are obtained either via bonds or different little events um in which you can get those you only eight of those but if you do also want to go ahead and actually get at least the next character up which is going to be moko here you're gonna need yourself a few things if i'm right moko should be taking and please do correct me if i'm wrong on this one moko should be either taking should be taking these dudes if i'm right i don't think she takes the basic one she might but i'm pretty positive she takes the secondary one so you really want to get these guys up right here and that is going to be your best friend either way of course if it is not these you will need to get the other ones and either way you need 16 of this item in general so 16 of that item if you are going from 1 to 10 so surely do keep that in mind and this is just going over the traits we still have some things such as like the weaponry to go over weaponry is always going to be one of the things that you want to go ahead and look into and we have not even went into the gear sets in general so now if we went over everything else such as like evolving leveling trait type deal the weapons is what we really want to look at. Now, weapons can be a little bit expensive, seeing that this little thing right here is very much so annoying to get up here. But if you wanted to just straight up, let's say, not even try to do too, too much, right? Nothing else. If you just wanted to straight up get this weapon up to 80, it would take you around 17 of these bad boys right here, which we have 16, we're a little bit low. And then our purples, you want to have 34 of these in which we have 20. So we're gonna have to get a little bit more of these as well and then 36 of the reds this is literally getting this from level 1 to 80 and that will end up maxing out your amount of damage if you already have the character fully maxed and things like that that will max out that whole character and that is just the basic things of what you need in total if we calculate everything together you're going to need yourself around like 1.2 mil to do all of this stuff so if you wanted to fully max out the character things like that you will need yourself one point two million soul stones here and that can be a little bit of a hassle but of course that is what you're gonna have to do and so i'm hoping a lot of you guys have actually farmed this to death if you haven't now for the tricky part you get prepared for moko moko is one of those characters that it's going to be fairly interesting on getting to at least getting prepped and prepared and this is going to be because we do need to actually get up a certain card set now, for some of us, of course, if you do not mind her not wearing her uh, Psy card set um, or like the best card set that's for her, you could very well use this card set right here. And this one could actually be helpful for her healing properties. But this character also heals off of just mainly attacks slash just healing properties in general. So if anything, you would want to actually have this card set right here, which is a little bit better. It's mainly going to help you out a ton more for at least that nice old damage. And this will help you out when it comes down to being somewhat the DPS that she needs to be in order to get you that set damage. If you're looking for this, be sure to go for this card set. This one will be your best bet. And it's called Joy. So if you don't know exactly the names of it, Joy is the name of this one. And the other one is named Love. Either way, pretty easy, pretty simple to get up. The only issue is you're going to take a lot of stamina. So that's the main ordeal when it does come down to at least building Moko. I meant to actually post this video probably like two, three days ago, and it just kept slipping my mind because I had other videos planned. So we had to do a quick little video today because we have a lot more things to do. Unfortunately, both streams got canceled today, mainly because of real life problems, as well as found out the freaking update happens at 12 o'clock at night. I'm not streaming during that time. So um, yeah, 
we got a lot of things to do here. Hopefully we'll be able to stream a little bit tomorrow after my work. And um, yeah, you guys look forward to that. But till then, everybody, stay safe, stay sharp, and stay determined. Hopefully this was helpful and peace out.